guys, it's Mandy from Daydream Face Painting. Today I'm going to show you this cute rainbow fish design using Pro Air products and dips for the line work. The advantages of using the dips and Pro Air products in the summertime are many. Uh, if there's going to be any kind of water involved, um, the pool party, or if the parents have rented um, an inflatable slide with the pool of water at the bottom for the party. This would be perfect. That Your designs are going to stay fresh and awesome looking throughout the event. Whereas other face painters in your area might have to say, I can't do a pool party. I, my face paints will just wash off the face. I think this would give you a competitive advantage to have these in your arsenal. Just to say, sure, I can do it. I have waterproof paints, or if you have glitter tattoos, you're set for any kind of event that is going to involve water during the summertime. So if you guys would like to see how I did this, keep watching. First, I loaded up some yellow Pro Air on my Fantasy Worldwide sponge, and I'm making a C shape around the corner of my eye, and then a little point at the top for the top fin. Next, I'm loading up some blue on my Fantasy Worldwide sponge, and I'm going to go around to the other side and make a backwards C shape to complete the fish's body. I prefer not to put the Pro Air directly on the eyelid. I'm going to go in with some pink star blends around the eye area and give it a tropical rainbow fish look. realized after I used this pouncer that it was way too large for the look I was trying to achieve, but no big deal because I loaded up a paper towel with just a tiny bit of alcohol and I went in and removed it and I'm going to use a smaller pouncer sponge for the bubbles instead. Hopefully this will just show you that it's okay if you make a mistake with this product. You can just go in with an alcohol wipe or a little alcohol on a paper towel and just rub the mistake right away. So now I'm using a smaller pouncer sponge to make the bubbles. I'm just pouncing it around in a circle shape to give it a highlight and a shadow at the bottom. In hindsight, I wish I would have placed these bubbles more toward the center of the forehead so they would look like they're coming up from the fish's lips. And now I'm going to use a low Cornell yellow handle brush. I'm going to shake up my black dips to activate it. And I'm going to go in with a series of a couple of black teardrops just to make the top of the fin shape. And then two teardrops for the bottom fin shape. This is a super fast, easy design that you could do at any event. Now I'm going to go in with some more black and just make two tiny little teardrops for the fish's fishy lips. Now I'm going to activate my white dips and I'm going to use that for outlining the bubbles. I'm just going to go around the top to give them a tiny bit of definition. This step is totally optional as well.
And I think with using any new product like this, there's gonna be kind of a learning curve. You can see that when I went over my black teardrops with the white, it reactivated the black a little bit, so it turned a little bit gray. So if I had this design to do over again, I probably wouldn't have gone right over the black teardrop. Now I'm just gonna give my paintbrush a little swipe with a paper towel to clean it all off. And I'm gonna go in and draw some some of this gorgeous blue afterglow glitter to add some blue glitter to my bubbles and just around my eye area and everywhere I think the fish scales would be sparkly. And that's it. That's the finished rainbow fish look. I think this would be so fun for any summer party or tropical event. Thanks for watching guys.